What is going on everybody? Welcome to Old School RuneScape's Luckiest Players for the month of October in the year 2020. We have a lot of awesome submissions for October. It seems like October was a pretty lucky month, but if you think that you have something that can make the cut for one of these videos, send it over to the email address on the screen right now in the subject line, put something there that's going to identify it to me so I know what I am looking at. If your drop makes the cut, it will be featured in one of the upcoming Luckiest Players videos. If you like seeing community content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below the video. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up so more people can see it. And if you'd like to support the channel in another way, you can become a channel member, which will give you certain perks like getting community member only posts and in-game events with me. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and kick off October's Luckiest Players video with the most lucky clue scrolls and as usual we're going to start off with our third age submissions now it is my humble opinion that all third age drops get a feature because they are so incredibly rare you really really don't see them that often so we're going to start off with pussy and this is going to be hard casket number 269 pulling in the third age range top this clue was valued around 30.6 million gp Next up is going to be So Crispy on Hard Casket number 151, pulling in the Third Age Kite Shield, 25.1 mil on that one. Next up comes Machete Gun, and this is going to be on the 20th Hard Casket of the account, unfortunately pulling in that Third Age Range Coif, 6.1 mil on the value. Next up is going to be Mellow Bones with the Third Age Plate Skirt, this one coming in on Hard Casket number 11. This clue is valued at around 87.9 million GP. Next one comes in from Avocado Kitty on the ninth Hard Casket of the account, pulling in the third age row bottom, 18.5 million GP. And this one incredibly lucky from Skilled Nick on the very first Hard Treasure Trail of the account, pulling in the third age robe top, 54.2 million GP. Next up, we have our lone Third Age Elite submission. This one coming in from Thorder, and this is going to be on the 18th Elite Casket of the account. Third Age Cloak for 168.7 million GP. Next up comes from Legend, and this is a Third Age Longsword. We actually don't know which KC this was because you can't see it in the chat, but regardless, Third Age Longsword, that is worth quite a bit of money. On the Runelight Tracker over there, we can see 384 million GP. And our last third age submission comes in from Born to Feed, and I think that's a League of Legends reference, maybe Dota. Third Master Casket of the account pulling in the third age pickaxe, 1.555 billion GP. Those are ones you really don't see that often. Third age picks, very nice clue, man, on just the third Master Casket. Next up, we have our Mimics, our lucky Mimic kills. So we only have three of these, and two of them really aren't that rare, but they're still 1KC, so we'll go ahead and throw them in. First one comes in from Weld Arc, and this is going to be on the fourth Mimic Kill on Elite Casket number 64. Pulling in the Third Age Bow, plus the Dragon Chain Ornament Kit, 543.4 million GP. Next one comes in from Razweaver, and this is going to be 1KC on the Mimic on the 28th Elite Clue scroll, and they're pulling in the third age ring. Only a 1 in 50 drop, but still cool to see on just 1KC. And our last one comes in from Yeet Sosa, and this is going to be another 1KC third age ring. Very nice, guys. Next up, we're going to get into our more standard loot table from the clue scrolls, but nonetheless, still lucky. First one comes in from Mr. Aviac, and this is going to be on medium casket number 397, pulling in the double Ranger Boots. Ranger Boots are one in 1,133 per roll on the clue scroll, so seeing two of them in the same one, very nice. Next one comes in from Wild Styles, medium casket number 137, pulling in the double Wizard Boots. Same drop rate as the Ranger Boots, so pretty rare to see. Stone F submitting medium casket number 95, another double Ranger Boots. So apparently it's not that rare. I mean it is, but two people in the same video pulling the double Ranger Boots, very nice. Next one is from Mr. CPC, and this is going to be on medium casket number 75 and 77, pulling in Ranger Boots. Almost back to back, but not quite there regardless. Medium clue scrolls don't take that long to complete, so pulling them in that fast, very nice. Next up is Vapor Tone on medium casket number 24, 
pulling in the ranger boots and the holy sandals in the same clue. Next one comes in from KO'd by Marcus. Medium casket number three, ranger boots, the wolf cloak, and an ancient cloak. All of those are one in 1,133 drop rates. Last but not least for the medium clue scrolls, Airy Feek with the 1KC ranger boots. Very nice, always cool to see ranger boots on that very first medium clue scroll. Next one comes in from Vuohi, and this is going to be a double Dragonhide shield in the same clue. Hard casket number 150. Uh, those shields are one in 9,750 per roll, so very nice seeing two of them in the same clue scroll. Next up is Wrong Concept. Hard casket number 17, pulling in the Gilded 2H sword. Those are also very rare, so to see it that early, very cool. Hey Gabe submits Elite Casket number 5, pulling in the Ranger's Tunic, not worth what they once were, but still a decent loot for an Elite Clues Casket. Snow Dragon 20 submitting Elite Casket number 2, with a Gilded Full Helm and Ranger's Tights in the same clue. Pretty rare to see something like that. And moving on to our Master Clues, I am Mink, pulling in the Bloodhound on Master Casket number 11. Bloodhounds are a 1 in 1,000 drop rate on the Master Clues, and they're pretty hard to get a hold of, so seeing it that early, very nice. 808N with Master Casket number 3, another Bloodhound. Serene Bunny, Master Casket number 3 with an Anguish Ornament Kit. In Somek, Master Casket number 2 with the Anku top, and that is the most expensive part of the Anku outfit, so very cool to see that so early on. Next up is I Always Win, and this is going to be on Master Casket number one, Tormented Ornament Kit. Very nice clue there, pretty good value on it. And next up we have a duo of Master Casket number one Bloodhounds. First one comes in from Mix Sim, once again a 1 in 1000 on the drop rate for those Bloodhound pets. And the other one coming in from Doral XD, also with the Master Casket number one Bloodhound. That is going to wrap up our luckiest clue scroll drops for the month of October in 2020. We're going to go ahead and move right into our luckiest PVM item drops. And we're going to go ahead and start off with our low KC drops. Our first submission for our lucky PVM item drops comes in from Master Ratting. And this is a 105 KC Wyvern Visage from the Spinning Wyverns. Those drops are one in 12,000 from that particular Wyvern. So very nice to see so early on in the account. Next one comes in from, and this person told me this was pronounced Craig, even though it's with a 9. So Craig with a Spectral Sigil at the Corporal Beast at just 38 KC. At 35 KC, we have a Harmonized Orb, which is the most expensive one, over a billion GP from Kush and Wax. Assiduity submitting a 29 KC Twisted Bow from the Chambers of Zarek, and you usually can see one of those around 1 in 600, much less get one in your name so early. Next up at 24 KC, Spectral Sigil on the solo Corporal Beast, Greeny Mills. Next one comes in from Sidian94 with a 20 KC Dragon Warhammer. X Yeti X submitting a 10 KC Armadillo Hilt. And we have a pair of Elysian Sigils on 9 KC up. Over spec with the first one on the solo Corporal Beast, 9 KC Elysian Sigil. And next one is Gommel Mofo with a 9KC Elijah Sigil also. Glazio with a 7KC Twisted Bow in the Chambers of Zarek. G-Ben 42 with a 6KC Ceridoman Hilt. 6KC Hydroclaw from Touch It. JVD with a 5KC Trident of the Seas from the Kraken Boss. 5KC Spectral Sigil coming in from Void Within Us. Next one is from Zoo Is Back, and this is going to be a 5KC Blade of Saldor from the Normal Gauntlet. That's a 1 in 2,000 drop rate from the Normal Gauntlet. Name Space STF is going to be submitting the 5KC Basilisk Jaw, 1 in 1,000 on that drop rate. Next one comes in again from X Yeti X, a 4KC Armadillo Chain Skirt. Another 4KC Armadillo Drop coming in from Abyss, and this is going to be another Armadillo Chain Skirt. Next one comes in from PJJJ, 3KC Ceridoman Hilt. Bojangle Zero submitting a 3KC Ceridoman Hilt as well. Next one comes in from Stonef, and this is going to be a 2KC two Ring of the Gods from Vedion. Next one from Swole, 2KC Hydroclaw. Spitlicky submitting a 2KC Bandos Tacits. 
and Ridge Spencer with a 2KC Arcane Sigil from the Corporal Beast. And now we can get into our absolutely luckiest PVMers. These are going to be your 1KC PVM item drops. Wet Like Water with an Armadil Hill, Rockus with a Bandos Tacits, Noitir with a Serpentine Visage, No Coriander with a Skeletal Visage, and then later on at 82KC, a Draconic Visage, Mr. Jad with a Zamorakian Spear, Mr. Aviac, who we saw earlier, with a Hydra's Tail. Mr. Derpy with a Dragon Chain Body from the Calphite Queen. Lorenzo Sama with a Black Mask. Le Renz with a Zamorakian Spear. Creeping Death with a Dragon Pickaxe from the Chaos Elemental. If You're Gay with a Dragon Pickaxe from Vedion. Iceland Dick with a Zenite Shard from Tortured Gorillas. Not the Demonics, the Tortured Gorillas are somewhat rarer. Apparently this is pronounced Dutch, but Dutch with a 1KC Berserker's Ring. Freckles with a Briophytus Essence, Filthy Nudes with a Berserker's Ring, Dr. David Duke with an Armadil Hilt, Don't Shake Me with the Uncut Onyx from Zulra, Crimson X with a 1KC Ring of the Gods, Burks with a Kraken Tentacle, Beguiles with a Grazi Rapier from the Theater of Blood, Baby Genius with a Ring of Endurance, Awesomeness with a Solo Arcane Sigil, and Angry as F with a Ceradoman Hilt. Moving into our next section, we have our back-to-back -back PVM item drops, and I have put the odds on the screen as well, so we can check those out. X Will X 93 with the Kraken Pet and the Trident, back-to-back -back, KC 295 and 296. TJ Wolfpup with back-to-back -back Dragon Pickaxes from Vedion. Silamel with a Kraken Tentacle and the Pet at KC 1526 and 1527. Quags with a unfortunate Pegasian and Smoldering Stone back to back, 1,633 and 1,634. Nawazish Ali with back to back KBD heads at 794 and 795. Muscleman 2018 with a Crystal Armor Seed and Blade of Saldor at KC 28 and 29. Mr. No Specs with a God Sword Shard 2 and a Steam Battle Staff at KC 416 and 417. Mac Miller MD with a Sears ring back to back. That is one in 16,384 on those. Ketchup Bottle has two submissions here for the back to back. Very lucky at Cerberus. Primordial Crystal and Smoldering Stone at KC 499 and 500. And then just a little bit later, Primordial Crystal and Eternal Crystal back to back, 546 and 547. Killer P3 Solo Twisted Bows. Back to back Solo Twisted Bows in the same person's name. KC 300 and 301. Felipez with the KQ head and the pet back to back, 42 and 43 KC. D Boy Prod with Bandos Tacits and a Bandos Hilt, KC 1 and 2. So you got a 1 KC here and a back to back in the same one. Daddy Gomes with a Magic and Tanzanite Fang, KC 25 and 26 at Zulra. Cha Yen with a Dexterous Prayer Scroll and Dragon Hunter Crossbow back to back, plus the Elder Maul just a couple kills later, KC 724, 725, and 727 on the Elder Maul. And last but not least, we have Sleep Slave with the Bandos Pet, plus Tacits in the same kill, followed by the back to back Tacits. That's just, that's crazy. The same drop rate with the Bandos Pet and the Tacits is 1 in 1,905,000. And then to get a Bandos Pet and Tacits plus the Tacits after, 1 in 725,805,000. That has got to be, if not the rarest, one of the rarest things to ever happen in old school RuneScape. Moving into our next PVM item drop section, we're going to go ahead and get into our awesome combo drops and we've got quite a few of these i know this section is long but we will get through it first up is going to be zulex with two onyxes in the same zulra kill 69 kc one in 65,536 on that one tmdf with three hydra claws in just one day and we can see there on the rune light tracker date october 9th three claws on october 9th for tmdf smar me Three Dragon Harpoons from the Worms in 115 kills. By the way, those are 1 in 2,000 of the drop rate on a Slayer task. Rackley 6 with a Draconic Visage from the Brutal Black Dragons. It's a 1 in 10,000 drop there. Pump Mafia, KBD Heads, and a Draconic Visage in the same kill 
one in 640,000 on the drop rate. Patrick with a twisted bow at 26 KC and 34 KC, just eight kills apart. On Red Panda, first Hydra task that has ever been done on this account, managed to get the claw, the leather, the jar, and the heads all in 125 kills. Now Wazish Ali, again, three primordial crystals in just 25 kills at Cerberus, KC 187 and 189, almost the back-to-back, -back, and 212. Login limit with the Zulra Pet and Tanzanite Fang in the same kill, one in 768,000 on that drop rate. Let's plop OK with both mutagens, and by the way, that's one in 6,553 for a singular mutagen, whether it be Tanzanite or the Magma, or one in 3,277 for either of them, managing to grab both of them by just 65 KC. Jim Slim with a 287 KC Nightmare Staff, followed three kills later by a 290 KC Harm Orb. It's Lunatic with a solo Twisted Bow at just 22,095 points. It's Raven with a Smoldering Stone from the Hellhounds, one in 32,768. Fake ID also with a Smoldering Stone from the Hellhounds, one in 32,768. Creatine MH with an Armadale Chain Skirt from the Minion on the 255kc rotation, and then an Armadale Helmet from Criara at 257kc. Chase Coop with an Onyx and Tanzanite Fang in the same kill at Zalra, one in 65,536. Cheshire Cat with six Zenite Shards in 654kc. Also completing the Brimstone Ring at the Hydra in just four kills, 154, 157, and 158 for the back-to-back -back ring piece. Badovsky with two Serpentine Visages on the same Zolra kill, KC 373. And the next one comes in from N Amputee, three Dragon Full Helms from the Chewed Bones. And that's a little ridiculous. Screenshot number one, two, and three. All Boy with two Pegasian Crystals, one Primordial Crystal, and one Smoldering Stone, all in 90 KC at Cerberus. And last but not least, we have seven Sin's Wrath with an Armadale Crossbow at 223, 228, and a Ceradoman Hilt at 232. Three pretty rare drops in just nine Ceradoman God Wars kills. So now that we have concluded our very, very long Luckiest PVM item drops, we can go ahead and head right into our Luckiest PVM pet drops, and we're going to go ahead and start this off with our low KCers. First up is Maya Hollow, 28 KC, Corporal Beast Pet, X Yeti X, who we saw earlier with the 25 KC, Commander Zilliana Pet, Flange Monster, 23 KC, KBD Pet, DJ Bop with a 21 KC, KBD Pet, Mr. McStuffins with a 20 KC Seracnus pet, P Hat Koala, 17 KC Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, Gommel Mofo, who we also saw earlier. Man, you guys are getting really lucky with the 14 KC Omelet pet from the Chambers of Zarek. Balint with a 13 KC Noon pet, and I'm super jealous of that one because I really want that pet. Next one comes in at 12 KC with the Corporal Beast from Unwappa. Following that up is going to be Xeno Flare with a 9kc Calfight Queen pet. Sign with a 8kc Seracnus pet. 95's Zerk with an 8kc KBD pet. Rusty Cat, who is level 89, and you can look this account up with a 7kc Krill Susaroth pet. Daddy Max with a 7kc Hydra pet. Father Ranch, 5kc Jad pet. I'm So Static with a 5kc Cerberus pet. Harry Muspa with a 4KC Calfight Queen pet. Zetzu White, 4KC Corporal Beast pet. Vaporized O, with a 4KC Callisto pet. Vlutch, Vlutchtling, with a 3KC Vorkath pet. Fuggy60, with a 3KC Vedion pet. Coke Boss Bob, with 3KC Jad. Joel Corey, with a 2KC Jad pet. Add a Turk Gay, with a 2KC Jad pet as well and I Scrappy with a 2KC Abyssal Sire pet. And just like our luckiest PVM item drops with the 1KCers, we also have our 1KC Pet Hunter recipients here. We're gonna start off with Valentino Is with the 1KC Bandos pet, Seldru with a 1KC Scotizo pet, PVM Rage, 1KC Bandos pet, Lenard with a 1KC Dagonoth Rex pet, and that is a drop rate of one in 5,000, just like the God Wars dungeon bosses. 
Next one is from Easy Slapper. And on 1KC, Easy Slapper managed to pull the Dark Claw and Scotizo pet in the same kill, which is 1 in 1,625 odds of that happening. And then following that, is also going to get a back-to-back -back Dark Claw and Scotos with the Scotos on the 2KC as well. Odds of that happening are 1 in 105,625. Next one comes in from Drunk Larky, also with the 1KC Scotizo pet. And last but not least, 1M Hungry with the 1KC Dagonoth Supreme. Moving into our next section, we're going to check out our luckiest skilling pet recipients. First up is going to be a racial slur. A racial slur managing to grab two mining pets, one at 67 mining at the sulfur mines, one in 708,000 on the odds there, and then again at 68 mining at the lovakite rocks, one in 243,000 there. Next is Tersturi at the Motherlode Mine, 66 mining, the odds are 1 in 245,550. Next one comes in from Idolum, and this is at 64 farming on the mahogany trees, 1 in 3,400 on the odds for that. Mahogany trees do take like 3 days to grow too, so you gotta wait a while for those. Next up is H1Y. 63 mining at the Motherload Mine, 1 in 245,625 on the odds of that one. Next is Ball Evan, 62 thieving, Pyramid Plunder, Room 2, 1 in 27,990. Again, we have H1Y with another low level skilling pet, 61 woodcutting at the U trees, odds are 1 in 143,488. Deuce Zero submitting a 58 agility pet from the Cannabis Rooftop. 1 in 35,392 on the odds. XX submitting a 56 woodcutting pet at the Willow Trees. 1 in 287,886. Next up is No Law Claws with a 34 runecrafting pet. This is going to be at the Fire Runes, and the odds per essence are 1 in 1,794,908. Now, obviously, you have those odds however many essence you have in your inventory, so it does get considerably lower per run you do, but base chance per essence, 1 in 1.79 million. Next up is going to be Wasted Puss, and this is two thieving pets, post 99, but one at 18,820,000 experience, and then just a little bit later, only 141,000 XP, 18,961, getting the dupe pet. As for our last submission, is going to be extra poor, and this is actually pretty incredible. Nine mining pets in 22.3 million mining XP. I mean, they're rare as it is in itself, but nine of them on one account in 22.3 million XP? I mean, I could hardly see that happening in 200 million XP, let alone 22.3. Very lucky. Cool, cool submission. I really like this one. So that is going to do it for our luckiest players. And now we have come to uh, my favorite section because I never see any drops like this. Well, maybe once I did get a 9KC Seracnus pet, but we're not going to talk about that. Unluckiest drops collection for the month of October. So this is going to be the players that are super, super unlucky just to make us all feel just a little bit better about the RNG we have seen in this video. So first up is going to be Techies Nub. 10,358 kills, finally grabbing the Cerberus pet. Imagine going 10,357 kills without a pet, and then finally you grab it. So, still unlucky, but I'm I'm glad your grind is over, man. Next one comes in from Sidro, and this is going to be No Pagasian Stone in 3,329 Cerberus kills. Oh, by the way... At that KC, probably should have had about 26 different stone drops, only has 10 of them. So Cerberus has not been putting out for you. Also, no jar. All your all your RNG is used up on those three pets that you got. Next one comes in from Sun Devil. No Zenites in 1800 KC. As the drop rate says, 1 in 300 at the Demonic Gorillas. Probably should have had about 6 by this time, but got none. Red W Original. Submitting a Gilded Spear. Now, Gilded in a Clue Scroll, it's pretty lucky, but Gilded Spear is the lowest price Gilded item, so just grabbing the Gilded Spear out of all the Gilded items you could have had, eh, sorry about that. Better luck next time. NT Combos, submitting another Demonic Gorilla Log. Only one Zenite Shard in 2,619 kills. 
2,619 kills, man. That's, uh, that's some bad luck if I've ever seen one. Next one comes in from Iboof Rhythm, and this is another no Zenite shards, 1,354 KC. And these people are getting really unlucky with these Zenites. I would feel real bad if I was in your guys' position. And another Zenite submission, this one coming in from Gay Erdogan, and this is 4,060 Demonic Gorillas, only has three Zenite shards. I don't know where all these people's Zenite shards are, but they are clearly, clearly not for you. Count check with a noted superset on hard casket number 15. Same odds as rolling third age, but you just had to get the noted supersets. Bub 389. 39 unsireds without a pet or a jar. And the jar is one of the more common items uh, to get from the unsired. Not having one of those in 39 unsired. So 2,852 total KC. Way ahead of the drop rate for the unsireds, but still no pet, no jar. Next one comes in from Bin67, and this is going to be 1,086 KC, managing to grab two Kraken pets, uh, but nothing else. The jar is a 1 in 1,000 drop at the Kraken, so probably should have had that. And the Trident and the Kraken Tentacle, not nearly a 1,000 drop rate, so sorry about that, dude. Belaya Rossi, with no Hydra Pet and no Hydra Claw, in 4,638 kills. My man is 1,638 kills dry of a pet and no claw by that. Those are 1 in 1,001, by the way, the Hydra Claws. So none of those in almost 5,000 kills. That has got to feel bad. Our last submission comes in from Owlboy, and this is going to be a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back bucket drop at Kraken. Now, that's actually a 1 in 128 drop to get the bucket from Kraken. Uh, back to back to back odds on that are 1 in 2,097,152. So, pulling three buckets, you could have used that RNG at Cerberus to get at least three crystals, because those are 1 in 128 for any of the crystals. But that's actually pretty, uh, that's pretty comical in my opinion. I'm sorry about your buckets, man. All right, everybody, that is going to wrap up the luckiest players video for the month of October in 2020. If you like this video and you like seeing content like this, remember to smash those like and subscribe buttons on your way out. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.